Hey Turtle Club, good morning. It is I, Mag Sinker with Convertible Turtle Gaming, and this is Home for the Galera Days. We are here at Stowe Inside where we are working on getting, um, we just got through doing a, a number of Dynamax fights, uh, grinding away. Grinding is a little different in this game. So what we used to, what we used to mean by grinding is, and actually this is something I need to fix real quick. Memento Turtle Club. So back in the day, grinding meant um, actually we got the the watermark over there in the, in the live video. We're just going to take out the the non watermark. So what grinding used to mean in Pokemon was really, really I don't want to say lackluster, but it definitely left a lot to be desired. And it meant going out into a section like down here, where we have grass and wild Pokemon and really cool Diglett statue in the background. And it meant finding us a random fight amongst all the, the, the grass out here. And as you can see, just to show you an example, is taking a little bit of time. You know, like this Helioptile. Going out and fighting it over and over and over and over again. And slowly but surely grinding away as if you were putting stone into a, a mixer of some sort. And eventually, eventually getting to where you want to be. So fortunately our, our guys are a little high. You can tell that they're some pretty pretty good levels now. Uh, Pikachu is a little bit on the low side, but I want to show you how we've been acquiring this. Um, because every time you fight in a raid battle, you get experience points, but not in the traditional sense. Uh, my understanding is you still get effort values, which uh, there are many channels out there that'll be more than happy to explain to you individual values and effort values. I could not do them justice, but when you do complete these fights out in the wild zone, you get rare candy and experience candy and all that. So what we've been doing to raise our levels is grinding away by grinding, I mean, go out and fighting these raids, which we're doing anyways, because we're trying to get, you know, really cool Pokemon. And then burning the experience candies afterwards. And slowly but surely, over time, we want to sort this whole entire box by type. Over time, we are able to grab some stuff up. Yay, DB Master, how's it going, man? Uh, one of the things that we did focus on when we were feeding candy was getting this wonderful, beautiful flagon up to 50 and getting our Gyarados up to match. Now, Gyarados, it's got some great stats, got some good moves. But one thing I do want to explain to you is um, Gyarados is what I call a, a trap Pokemon. And for single player play, this is going to be fine because we do have things to do with this Pokemon. I mean, it's typing's great, it's water and flying, so we can't ask for too much more out of that. It's attack stat um, and it's speed stat. They're, they've been adjusted a little bit because of its nature. Uh, it's got a timid nature, and if I recall correctly, timid means the speed goes up, but the attack goes down, and it's color-coded accordingly, blue for less, pink for, for higher, if I recall. Um, and the the uh, typing for the Gyarados, we have a really weird move pool, uh, because we got all these special attacks and our special attacks only 66 and Gyarados is just built that way um, I don't know really I mean everybody's always you know hey Gyarados is great and I don't disagree because I love the way he is as far as you you know humble beginnings of Magikarp but when you look at it um, his base t -back! good morning sir oh my gosh um you know what? Oh wow, we don't even have the alerts on this setup that we have here. I can hear him though. Um, 
but we don't have it on this setup because this setup's the one without the camera because we still don't have all the green screen stuff set up. T Mac, thank you, sir, for the, uh, the 10 pounds, man. That's amazing. I really appreciate that, sir. But yeah, he's he's got a base special attack of 60. His base is 60. At level 50, he maxes out with a neutral nature for a special attack of 112. You got your first Twitch payout. Oh, well, congratulations on that, man. Of course, guys, T-Mac Music dropping some money on us, but he also dropped some tunes. If you want to check him out on Twitch, he's always in our advertised room in our Discord. You can always catch him live through there. Of course, following him on Twitch will do it as well. Oh, thanks for the like. Yeah, it's a buffet today, guys. We're, we're going for five minutes past the hour to start with because we had some technical issues earlier this week. But so he's he's got low special attack typing. Um, he's got high attack, considerably high attack. But most of his really good moves, quote unquote, from his actual learn pool, are all special. Um, I mean, his creme de la creme boo he gets at the end is hyper beam, and what he really needs is giga impact. So we're we're going we're going to be you know, you know we're going to be using him to our to our advantage because of what we got. But the other thing that makes this guy a, a trap Pokemon, and I want to explain this a little bit as well, is the moves that he gets. So. Hydro Pump, really strong hitting move, but if you look at that accuracy, it's going to whiff. It's going to miss one out of every five times. That's not what you want to be taking in with you when you're fighting against a human being that's going to be doing things to you like you know, mud shotting you, lowering your accuracy with things like sand attack, using double team to up its evasion. Hurricane, even a little worse, with a 110 70. All right. Even the move that we were using to pretty good success uh, yesterday, Whirlpool, is an 85% accuracy. And they're still coming in with these really bad stat typings. So Gyarados, again, he's, he's a trap Pokemon. Um, but he looks cool, and he's always fun. But you're definitely going to have to do some, some egg moves with him to make him really good competitive. You're going to have to do a lot of things. And I mean a lot of things to kind of even get him uh, in the... the the area of where you want him to be. Um, what else was it? I look in here. I mean, egg moves for this thing means you have to go to Magikarp. And Magikarp, and when you look at his egg moves, Magikarp has none. Uh, actually, I, I used to, th I thought that Flail was an egg move. But I guess it's because I never bothered to level Magikarp up to 25. So yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do instead, if we're still inside, is we're going to bring this wonderful, wonderful guy. Now, look at this already. His special attack and his attack are both 95, 96. His abilities that we have, 120, 100, 80. We got stab, the same type attack bonus. For Earthquake, and we got Stab for Dragon Claw, which is 8100 and 100 100. And then we round it out with Super Power. Super Power, and this gym's not going to be really good for us because it's a fighting gym, but it does hit hard. And so we're looking for that. And if worse comes to worse, if we get desperate, if something is clearly more than we should be trying to, you know, biting off more than we can chew, we got a one out of three and a half chance of hitting with fissure which is an instant KO so and if things get really really bad we got our old standby butterfree air slash bug buzz and this butterfree stats look at that special attack of 90 so right out the gate still we're doing way better than this gear does now Gyarados does have an attack stat, a physical attack stat of 126, but the moves he's learning isn't really good. So if you really want to up the Gyarados game, as it were, you're going to be looking at things like dipping into some TRs and some TMs. Really deep, really deep. Alright, so let's go ahead and get on the rest of the way. Going through this town here before we go over to the Stone Side Gym. Uh, here is 
the bargain guy, Miracle Seed, you're always going to want to buy what this guy's selling, no matter what it is. Every day it's something different. Tomorrow's a focus band. We like focus band. And this guy's always wanting to buy something. Now, tiny mushrooms for 2k. Unfortunately, we don't have any tiny mushrooms. All the stuff that he could buy out of this. Um, and he didn't want to buy anything we had. And out of here are the treasures. Um, get a lot of money for selling some stuff off, but we got to start building up our reserves. All right, and there's a hop over there with the plot. I'm still talking to some people though. All right, but Bronzong, now nah, we were good. Wants to wear a Bronzong on his head. Nah, kid's a little odd. Over here we got some Diglets discussing who's going to be in charge when they become a Doug Trio. That's clearly what the discussion has to be over there with those three. And over here, something that on my personal playthrough I almost missed. And maybe, uh, there it is. So we got a glitter for Metal Coat, used for evolving some Pokemon. I'm sure if we got a Miraculous, we'll, we'll trade one for Antenna. There we go. We'll trade Maractus out. Boom, boom, boom. Sending Maractus to Romeo. Antenna, of course, being a fairy type. Fringe. Now there is an interesting give and take between trainers. There is an interesting Pokemon there. It is the Hatena. For a fighting gym, I mean we really Hmm. It's got Psybeam. It's level thirty. Wouldn't take much to level it up. We're about to go into a fighting gem. Pikachu, as good as you are, you're just really not all where we want to be today. So what we're going to do is we are going to feed this newly acquired Hatena some actual just straight up rare candy. And probably just going to feed all of them to it. Don't know if that will actually evolve it to Hatrim or not, but I'm willing to give it a shot. At the very least, it'll be fairly decent against this fighting gem. Uh, Calm Mind. Oh, Calm Mind's great. Um, would I prefer a remake to an old game or a sequel to Sword and Shield? Well, that's a good question, DV Master. Usually, at this point, I would jump on a remake for Switch to get it into the trade pool. Like the XY and uh, Ruby Sapphire was awesome, in my opinion. So, like a Diamond and Pearl remake to kind of keep up with the way they've been doing remakes would be. Um, pretty good in my opinion but but I do want to point out that the last remake we got was Pokemon Yellow and it was Pokemon Let's Go and so I really don't want to encourage that kind of remake if that makes sense so I'm, I'm, I'm concerned if we got a remake that was like uh, Ruby Sapphire um as Diamond and Pearl, I think that would be awesome because I haven't really played Diamond and Pearl a whole lot. It'd be a great way for me to experience it. It'd be a great way for us to, you know, bring it up on the channel. And 
strong emotions, it will silence you violently. Violently. Wow. Slow and brutal swing. Um, why is that? Like, I wonder how you would evolve Glary and Yamask in other games. I don't think we would. I think that's really what it boils down to, DB Master. I don't think we would. I think it'd be an orphaned Pokemon. Um, which they've done before. They've had uh, trades where you just simply can't you know, evolve. Uh, take this game, for instance. You cannot get Flapple at all in Shield. Like, if I traded Digrat a, uh, a Tart Apple with Flapple, like it was holding one and traded it to her, she cannot use that item in her game. So this thing is a special attacker, clearly. So it's a physical move. Why did it get an evolution physical move? Game Freak, I I don't know what you're doing. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Okay. So this is our team that we're gonna be going into a lot of uh, a lot of plot in a second. Veto Shock. Not a move that you want in this gem, but it definitely is, comes into handy in the next gem. So, glad to pick that up here. But yeah, Glaring Yamask, yeah, I, I don't think you get a chance to evolve. Um, I think special evolutions that are location based, we're just not going to wind up getting. Come on, lady. You need food thoroughly. Okay. Just bit SP attacks. All right. They do look cool, though. Okay. Interesting. Um. All right. So here we go. Here's hop. You're on. You're on, Hop. I'm glad that Hop's sort of getting his uh, his groove back. Cramorant. And this thing is one of the coolest Pokemon in the game, guys. Alright, so we're going to Dragon Claw this thing. take it out but it's it's fun uh, when we get a, a crown rant later in the game I'll be able to show you guys what that is uh, we're gonna keep the current Pokemon and we're gonna use earthquake and think that it's possibly going to dig earthquake should be strong enough to do considerable damage yeah This is what we're about to bring into the fighting gym, guys. Providing it doesn't go one more level up. Uh, we're going to keep the current Pokemon. It's the Wacky. Um, Dragon Claw it. Damn. It survived it. Toxel. So this is still kind of me being slightly sad. Alright. So here comes Toxel. This is his anchor Pokemon, his last one, which he basically makes a fuss about before he puts out. But his starter still not with him. And that's a problem in, in my head a little bit. Right? It's wacky. People are like, well, Thwacky is a starter. Not really. Uh, Wulu is a starter. It's the one he started off with. So 
super effective uh, like two different ways if I remember right ground and in electric or electric and poison just wrecked by ground But yeah, there's a few Pokemon that in this game that have some interesting level ups that I don't know if we'd be able to evolve in other games. I mean, some of these Pokemon, right? Yep, Opal. Bia's League Card. Jim Jones, but having fun, she says. Opal's an interesting character, too. Alright. Let's go through this door here. You there. Give me your TM. It's the owner of the flying taxis. We get fly. TM06 fly. Used to be a big deal to get fly. And, and now, the game gives it to you before you even get your first badge. Which I'm all for, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining about that. But I am slightly complaining that a little Kokori kid can climb up something like that that we can't. Kids in the Galar region are not physically fit. That's what it bulls out to. That we can go over here and explore a little bit. The cracked pot, which you use to evolve Sinistee. All right, and down we go. Reminder for those who've just joined Buffet. Oh yes, absolutely number of likes, the number of viewers, uh, plus the bonus for TMAC being here, we round up to the nearest 10 after we get the likes and the viewers in. Anyone who subscribes today, uh, we are currently sitting at, I don't have my sub counter, oh wow. Uh, I and YouTube's new little control thing doesn't show it either. Well, fiddlesticks. All right, let me go ahead and get a sub counter up on my screen of these guys. Cause we wanna get that, and that's gonna be an extra minute for, uh, for a convertible Turtle. Alright, let's go ahead and get that up there. Pull up the page. Alright, we're at 2.26k according to YouTube. And we'll refresh that at 9 o'clock. Actually, we'll be refreshing that at 9.05 because we had some technical difficulties early in the week. We promised everybody would be giving an extra five minutes. Extra minutes for technical issues. Yep, yep, yep. Always, always. So we'll have six minutes before we even do any kind of calculations. And then for the first sponsor, which TMAC qualifies as, everyone's going to get an extra rounded up to the nearest 10. All right. Let's go take a look at this mural. Everybody's been talking about. Dynamax Pokemon have it on power spots, it says. The ocean, not a mountain. Well, there's a sword here, and a shield there, and some flowers, and... Well now, I uh, 
Looks like Banksy got a hold of it. Oh, here's some glitter. Max Revive. Only, only the world where I think glitter is kind of cool is the Pokemon world because it means I'm getting something fun, not something that I have to continually try to wipe off. All right, stepped in some plot. We got through it. Here we go. Here's Ball Guy. Ball Guy, my man. What you got for me? Very special Pokeball. White Tallboy is so good. Ooh, ooh, that does sound good. I think a heavy ball works pretty good for Dynamax Pokemon too, because they're a little heavier. Yeah, we're one of the last people in the challenge, because everybody usually gets washed out in the third stage. But not us, we're still going strong. We are going to buy 11 of those. Pass that dude with the mustache. Alright. Raising Pokemon, I have to change my team members. Yep, we've definitely had to change our team members a couple times. Oh, little blip bug, how are you doing? This is our fan. They started off with a blip bug, they evolved it into Dottler. Got a nice little kind of story themselves. We don't want to buy anything, so we've done everything here. So, first things first, you save. We're not auto saving. Ball guys like Shy Guy from Mario. Nobody knows her true identity. Um, I I think it's Kurt's kid. I I think Kurt from Silver Crystal and Gold uh, was was such a weird person. You know, imagine having that as a as a father growing up. So to to get like any kind of attention in the household, you just had to become bald guy. Now this is one of the funnest gyms I've been in for the, the gym challenge. Look at this, guys. It's a gigantic pachinko machine, basically. So for this, you actually take the thumbstick, the left or the right one. He's going to explain it a little bit. So the first one, there's like no wrong path. So he's like, all right, go, and he gets out of our way. Here we go. So, spinning to the right, spinning to the left. And it's just kind of neat. Again, there is no wrong path. Both paths lead to the same place in the first. Boom. But then... You gotta fight. Everybody's talking about how you're dizzy after the fight. Hey, it's 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 fluff. Here comes a stuffle. The first time I ever fought a stuffle in this game, I had no clue what it was. I had seen Beware, but not never seen the stuffle. Um I guess we just beat this thing right in the face, huh? And don't even worry about the, the fact we're getting downgraded on our attacks. Yeah, we'll switch out. Beware. Okay, we'll go out and we'll uh, be butter free. Of course, Beware I am familiar with because of the cartoon. Uh, this is what basically wound up um, adopting Jesse and James in the, in the anime. And so we're, we're, we're basically hitting this team with overwhelming force. I mean, we have type advantages and we have good stat pool for some of our Pokemon. But, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to kid, guys. We're, we're 20 levels higher than just about everything here. So we should be okay. Shadow lurking. Here's where things get a little tricky. 
because we have to ride the punching bags. Shadow is our second sponsor today, guys, and one of our cool mods. And that means that with it being our second sponsor, we are now going to be rounding up to the nearest 10 and then adding an additional 5 minutes to that come 9.05. Again, guys, actually 9.06, my bad, because we got that bonus minute for the fact that we were technical difficulties for a bit this morning. Here comes Farfetch'd. I'm just going to Dragon Claw it. Probably wreck it with one hit. There we go. And that's all for Jim Trainer Claire. Alright, technical difficulty sub counter. <laughs> Alright, so this this is the room that gave me the most fits the first time I came through. And it it's Found out that Alright, here we go. We gotta do this. Alright. Hit us again. And then that's right you gotta go over this way okay go over here you'd think that you don't have to go over here you'd think that this is not the way you go but you'd be wrong because it's got to shove you all the way and then you gotta slowly just kind of glide down here and then basically let, let it all overtake you just don't even do anything at the end We'll probably get through two gyms today, guys. Just me being honest. Um, we'll, we'll probably run around the, the wild zone for a bit in between so we can candy up. Here comes Hitman Lee. Of course, that is patterned name-wise after Bruce Lee. Famous for his kicks. Oh, yeah, a really interesting little segment there. Dragon Claw this thing away. Flygon is just a, a nasty Pokemon in general. You wouldn't put out Butterfree. Here comes Hitman Chan. Pattern after Jackie Chan. Famous for his, uh, maybe his humor in his martial arts movies. Chan's down. Love a good old fashioned martial arts movie there. Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee. Um, basically, all, all the classics like the Five Venoms. He's a big singer overseas as well. I had read that. I had read that. I mean, that kind of like developed over like the last 20 years though like as he's gotten a little older he hasn't he hasn't quite lost a, a step per se but I think he realized that he needed to be a little less on the physicality here we go with our fighting gym leader here that's Bay. Gotta love the martial arts pose there. Hitman Top. And I like the fact that Hitman Top's got this Capoeira stance type thing going on. Prime wants to try Fissure. And we're going to. 
Oh, wow. I didn't expect it to hit. But, uh, there we go. <laughs> That'll work. Pangoro. Oh, here comes Pangoro. The Fighting Dark type. Mold Breaker. We'll just Earthquake for right now. I guess we could have hit him with Superpower because he is dark. And fighting doesn't defend against fighting, they just take it like normal. Sir Fetched. We'll keep it. Sir Fetched, of course, is the coolest Pokemon in my opinion. Taking that League stock, breaking it in half, taking half of it for its little. Alright, and, uh. We'll Dragon Claw the, the little dude. Bam. Ooh. Ooh. Painful. Revenge taking the damage that they've taken the, the, up to this point and using it against you. But he does have, you know, quite the, the level difference to have to overcome, unfortunately. Alright. We will not switch our Pokemon. Here comes Machamp. We're gonna see a Giga Max Machamp. So, Champ looks like that when he's Dynamaxed. But when he's Giga Maxed, it's quite different. And so we're going to let that happen. Of course, this is the trap edge we caught last stream. Leveled it up to 50 through candy. Not many effort values. And Gigantamaxing. And here it comes. Got the glory arms. The thing's huge. The Dynamax Cloud circled its championship belt. Ball guy is going crazy on the, the Jumbotron back there. And then we hit it with the Dragon move. We're like, alright, there you go. What you got? And here comes a signature move only found on Giganamax Champ. Unfortunately, the artwork for it is kind of sad looking. It's basically Max Knuckle. It does get the little cool Fighting Fist impression at the end of it. That's about it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and Max Quake, because why not? What's the power accuracy? 130? Let's go into 130, this guy. Max Quake. Boom. Now put them down. Cool explosions. And of course, the the ball guy and the jumbo trying to the back falling over. Flagon's now level 51, which means he probably won't obey our commands. But we we're about to get the new badge, so we're good with that. Five thousand seven hundred and sixty for winning. Not a bad little purse. Oh, wait a second. Fringe is evolving. The psychic Pokemon we brought in for backup is becoming the final stage. Evolved into Hatterene. This is the witch Pokemon. Psychic fairy type. And basically, the cycle cut. We'll, we'll, we'll absolutely wear a cycle cut. This is kind of the replacement we get for Abracadabra and Alakazam from what I've gathered. And the, look at the special tech. It's off the charts, guys. It's 137. We have nothing else in our 
in our team of like 50-ish Pokemon levels that has that kind of a sat in it, and it's, it's, and it's amazing. And we really just don't think we're going to keep Peel Pulse. We'll just be dropping it right now. Take the fighting badge. Shake hands. We can now catch Pokemon up to level 40. And it still doesn't tell us what Pokemon will listen to us. But I want to say that it's like 20 plus what we can catch. 42 is revenge. Revenge is a great move. Get a uniform for a souvenir. Next, we're going to go talk to this guy. We're here to buy. And we can buy great balls. We can buy hyper potions. And this is where we're at, guys. We are Turtle Club hyper potion time. And that's about it for these guys. Alright. So do come again. Alright, let's go ahead and save. You have a zip file you can't delete. Hmm. That's usually not good. Bawark. Here comes Yapper. The electrified Corgi with a lightning bolt for a tail. Mural here, we're set to tell the story of the hero of Galar as well. Ancient art. Actually, a replica make sure that used to be here. Alright. We're gonna go look at the ruins again. Kaboom, though. Alright, so we're gonna go see what's going on here. We got people all kind of freaking out. What's going on up there? What's going on? What's happening at the ruins? Big noise is a great way to get people feeling uneasy. I don't disagree. Gym challenger? Yeah, we're a gym challenger. We're going to go challenge. And look at this. It's a Kaparaja. Destroy it. Destroy it all. We're going to find those wishing stars. We've got to bring the chairman more wishing stars who want to please him. Kaparaja. If you're truly the chairman's Pokemon. Alright. Oh my, you again. I won't have it while anyone stand in my way. Be this. Little bit on the nut side. Duosian. Alright. We sh could have went to the Pokemon Center and healed up. We probably should have went to the Pokemon Center and healed up. But alas, we didn't. So this is the world we live in. It's fine though. Duosian goes down. Hatrim. Yeah, let's go switch our Pokemon out. Let's uh, let's put out this guy. Pangoro. Love the model on Pangoro. Here comes Hadrum. Bam. Mold Breaker. Night Slash. Just gonna. Proceed to pretty much just wreck this team. I expect to error or something. Uh, I would probably take this opportunity, T Mac, to close down any programs you got open and restart your computer and then try it again. Yeah. 
There comes a Galarian Ponyta, which is a Psychic type instead of Fire type. And once again, goes down to Night Slash. Gotharita. And it too goes down to the Night Slash. Bam. Hmm. Yeah, um, that's a possibility. The other thing that you could try Parting Shot. Um, that's neat, but not really where we want to be with this Pangoro for this this playthrough. Okay. Uh, so the other thing you could try is if you got another computer, is you can um, mount that hard drive in the other PC and delete the, the file from there, or make a, or if you don't have another PC, the other thing you can try is making a USB boot disk for a Linux and mounting the drive through that and then deleting the file. How could someone like you get in my way? Chosen by chairman, I was the one who was to defeat the champion. I'm the one elite. This person is totally narcissistic delusions of grandeur cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, guys. Bede has just, he has lost his nuts. Every last marble. Did you stand in the path of a Pokemon Simple Beam or something? Oh, Young Bee. I'm truly disappointed. And I'm still not 100% certain that this guy's not like a super villain, guys. Like, like Lex Luthor, basically. Gonna take you back to Hammerlock. And the look on the face. You, you must be joking, right? Like, clear anime crazy psychopath. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Like, it smells like a scapegoat, guys. Turtle Club, I, I think they've set this poor person up for a. Uh, a very large fall. Beat has no family. And the mural is starting to fall apart. Run away! But don't worry. Guys. It is the two legendary Pokemon, Stick and Frisbee. Right there they are. It's a folder with a zip file that won't delete. What I might do is re-extract it back to where it was and delete the whole zip. Uh, yeah, that could work. And we get to see the light bulb go off in our head, guys. Check it out. Watching the replay, the tapestries, they all make sense. A sword and shield. The hero. It's the same as the tapestries. Uh, Game Master GG. Um, can I trade? Yes. Grammatically, I am physically able to trade. I have nothing you want. And we are currently doing a story playthrough. And we are not stopping for trades and stuff. We will be doing public trade streams later in the series. But at the moment, that's a no-go. Two revives. All right. Is 
So now we can actually see what the mural is, guys. And I guess we can re-talk to her. Gonna have to look into this more. Yep, she is. So now we're on made a huge amount of money in the market. It's such a weird just random phrase and random statement. It's the same guy. Look at that. That's, that's, that's. Oh my gosh, guys. Glitching the Pokey Matrix. Thanks for popping that out there, T-Mac Music. We are currently up to two sponsors in the stream today, guys. We have yet to have any public subscriber changes, so... No bonus minutes there, but if we were to end the, the first part of the stream at this moment, we would get four minutes for the viewers, the number of likes for the viewers, plus the six minutes due to technical difficulties, then round that up to the nearest ten, and then plus five more minutes, and that's how long we'd be streaming today. We still got a good solid hour in like 15 minutes before the actual stream comes to its natural close. So I'm confident that we can come in here, heal up a Pokemon, go back to Hammerlock, which may or may not step us into some plot. I don't think we step in plot by going back to Hammerlock, but we'll find out. There's those Hyper Potions. We are so happy to have Hyper Potions available to us now. 120 hit points in the middle of Dire Straits. Alright, so Town Map. Mm. I feel like we need to come back through this way because there's a fishing hole that we somehow missed. But more importantly, we're going to go over here. And check out the Pokemon Center here. Because this Pokemon Center sells more than just your typical Poke stuff. Certain balls that are special. We have 100 Dusk Balls because those are important for the raids that we go into. We haven't really had any raids come up that we wanted to specifically catch stuff with. And nothing really super extra special cool there yet. But we now can, let's go, uh, we can do the lotto. Let's see what we got on the lotto. We got a master ball yesterday. I bet you we get Moo Moo Milk today. Oh, no Moo Moo Milk. Not even Moo Moo Milk. All right, well, them's the breaks. All right, so no plot, because plot here will happen right here next. So, bam. Let's go back out this way. Let's go see what kind of raid we can get into. And then after, we're going to go check a couple raids out for about the next 5-10 minutes. And then we're going to hit up the Glenwood Tangle. Get back into the, the plot. See what we can find. So far... The sandstorm is just really, really bad for us. Ooh, that's a blossom. We don't have a trap Pokemon, as in a trapper, as in someone who can actually catch things. I don't think we even have a, a Ralts. I would love to have a Ralts that's of the male gender so we can turn into Gallade. Huh. Alright, handy dandy Pokemon information right at our finger fingertips thanks to the internet. Let's see what we need for a Ralts. Ralts 
is found in lots of different places. It says it's found in the Dappled Grove. I don't remember it. Uh, of course, it's the Wild Zone. Let's see what weather we get at Ralts at real quick. I wish there was just a better way to organize all the information for these guys. All right, fog? I'm not looking forward to fog. So, North Lake Meloche. So we can get back on the catch train. Because uh, fog is a... Uh, Let's go to the town map real quick and we can check out the, the weather over here. Fog is very rare. Um, like, if you're getting fog before you're the grand champion in this game, you have done something weird to your game. Oh, that's unfortunate, T Mac. On the bright side? If you still got your Steam account, you can re-download most of them. There are a few games you won't be able to get back. Uh, fog. Okay. I'm sensing a foggy pattern with the routes. Rolling fields. Let's just go straight to fog on rolling fields and see what it says. Routes. The only um, game that I'm very disappointed that I don't have available is the DuckTales remake. It's no longer available for purchase anywhere or download anywhere. So if you even if you purchased it, it got pulled out of Steam. Uh, Watchtower Ruins is probably Fog as well. Well guys, I... Huh. Oh nice. Yeah, I can see where you'd want to like get them transferred back. And uh, West Lake Axwell. All right, so that's unfortunate. So now we're gonna look at max raid battles because we really do want to Ralt. Where do we get us a Ralt? For max raids. That doesn't look like Den 87. No. No. Oh, is that it? Nope, but that's actually one worth looking at. Probably about to use a whole lot of. Oh. Okay, so we got a winner. It's. Alright. So we're gonna go to the daycare center, guys. Looking for DIN, or what's called Rare DIN 82. And. First things first, let's go to our bag. Let's see, do we have any wishing star pieces? Try and remember, those are over in this category of the treasures, if I remember right. All right, so we need to go over to a, a watt seller. Here we got a watt seller. Let's spend some watts. We got 9k watts, so we can get three wishing pieces. We have three chances. Three chances. Oh, what are the odds? I, uh, I really don't like our odds. Actually, I, we're getting... So that's not the raid we need coming up ahead. But... Definitely going to take a look at it. Uh, over this way, I th think. It's 
Snorlax. Not what we're looking for, though. So we'll leave that right be. Alright, so... Try to dodge everything we can. Ah! Laptop battery, waiting for the keyboard and trackpad. Okay, not bad. Laptop be all fixed. Awesome. Wait a second. This was like... Oh... My stars, okay. Tethered to power for almost two years. Oh, yeah, that'll be that'll be a nice, nice change of pace. Nice change of pace there. All right, I think this is the one that we're wanting. Let me let me check it out. We need to face this way. And look, nope, we got it the wrong direction. All right. The keyboard has been half broken for six months. Oh. T Mac, that's that's never fun. It's never fun to have that kind of uh, unfortunateness. All right, I'm trying to match where with what. Is it this? It can't be this one. It's not that either. Yeah, carding external everything is just no, no. I mean that's that's kind of a. Let's see, that would be okay. So it's got to be this one down here. Or right, hold up. Hold up, is there one all the way tucked in the corner down here? There is. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there's a Pokeball over here, too. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I've got a laptop that I've got... Gosh, how, how long... Okay, this is it. This is where we need to be, guys. Alright, so we're gonna save... Unfortunately, we get three shots at this. We're looking for a Ralts. We have a pretty good number of possible Pokemon from here. This is not what we were hoping to see. Um, it is a fairy. We are going to get our Butterfree ready because the next gym that we're about to fight anyways is fairies. So, we're going to teach her a Butterfree Venishock. And we are... Look at these special moves. These are all special. You got a nice, healthy special attack. I'm going to be replacing Psybeam with Venishock. Hold up. I wasn't meaning to favorite that. That's good to know that the favorites are there. I forgot about favoriting stuff. Okay. So now we're going to take this Butterfree. We're going to swap it. And now we're going to go fight this Clefairy. And I don't know if Clefairy is one of those Pokemon that people like or not. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump on the internet. And we're going to say, hey, internet... Um, congratulations, if you want to fight with me, you can fight with me. So this is one of those ways that we wind up getting random people on the internet to fight with us. Um, not every fight is a winner. Digret and I found out that certain fights you get people just flocking to. Other fights, not so much. Uh, usually five stars have no problem finding anyone to fight with you. 
like no matter what it is if it's a five star you will have somebody wander in because of the rewards meanwhile um, if it's like a three star it really depends on the Pokemon really depends But what we're hoping to get out of here is a Ralts or a Gardevoir. Gardevoir would be fine. I would have no issues with there being a Gardevoir in this cave. Um, the super rares out of here that we could wind up getting uh, is like Mawile booting up the game to help me. Oh, DB Master. <laughs> timer. Yeah, there's, there's a timer. Uh, but if we got people... Um, yeah, unfortunately the timer just keeps ticking down. Um, we'll see if DB Master gets here in time. And if he can even find me. That's the other kicker. Oh, 906. Yeah, 906 Eastern. We still got a lot of ways to go, about an hour. We have an hour to go. The United States has daylight savings times TMAC, and we've had our clocks go back an hour. So we still have another hour. Yeah, it's, I know for our non-US, it's, it's, it's so good, man. Our non-US fans, um, it, it messes with them, especially because US is no longer doing that in every place in, in, the, in the world. And uh, it's like, all right, yeah. Like Arizona, my, my younger brother, Odin, he lives out in Arizona now. Moved from Oklahoma to Arizona with his family. So Loki and Thor are now in, in, in Arizona. And they don't do it. Can't find me, unfortunately. All right, no worries, DB Master. Um, so, like, real deal, Digret can't find me half the time on this thing. Like, we're sitting beside each other on the couch, and Digret's like, I don't see you. Where are you? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, for us to do camping together, we have to do local connection. Oh, it's a Clefable. Okay, that's not as bad. And I think I might be okay. I mean, it's three star. Let's go ahead and Dynamax this. Let's Max Ooze the Clefable. But yeah, we can wind up getting like an Alcreme from here. Appears at the last second. Oh, that's unfortunate. But that's okay. I got two more. I got two more raids I'll be doing out of this this spot here. Um, trying to get a male Ralts. A female Ralts would be fine because then we can start hatching eggs. I was about to say. I hope that wasn't my Max because I just hit this thing. Oh wow! I wish I. Hmm. Hmm. My special attack rose is just great. Max Starfall. What typing is that? Is that fairy? Looks like it. And it's got terrain. Mist swirled. Oh, okay. Alright, we'll see what happens here. Wobbuffet used one of the four moves he knows for any kind of fight. We're about to get shielded, Clefairy. Alright. Minimize. Isn't that special attack defense? No, evasiveness. Okay. Alright, so we're going to use Max Airstream to break the shield. When you use an actual Dynamax move against a shielded Super Pokemon, it takes two damage instead of one damage. Mm, that hurt a little. That hurt a little. Alright, so now we can go back with the, the poison after that. It's going to lose a little bit of hit points because the barrier broke. And this thing may have a second shield round. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of wishing I had a hazer with me now. 
like I've been working on building up my idea Dynamax hunting Pokemon and it seems like the Pokemon needs to have like faint and haze and uh, some other really good like hard hitting I don't care about the the consequences move uh, that's with stab bonus all right so we're gonna try to catch it we're not really well should have used the dusk ball this is my this is my uh, mistake dusk balls when you are the the raid leader count for three times catch rate of a standard pokeball which puts it on par with an ultra ball and that's because when you are the raid leader the game knows that you're in a cave when you're actually just visiting it considers you to be outside of normal terrain uh, we got it though we caught it though so that's cool Play rough, amnesia, uh, la papa. All right, we got some candy. We got some Pokédex entry. We're not gonna give it a nickname. We're gonna send it to our box. It's gonna be in our episode nine box. It's the first Pokémon we've caught here in episode nine, right? Let's make sure it actually went to the right box. Oh no, you're in episode one because we did something. Get you over here to episode nine. You go over here with everybody else. All right. So one down, we got two more attempts. Absolutely save our adventure. Through the wishing piece in the den. Okay, here's a Gardevoir. This is where we want to be. We're going to go ahead and invite others. Because this will get us what we want to get. And we'll see if anyone else is able to come up. It's a three-star Gardevoir, which is pretty great. Um, it will not be male, because Gardevoirs are always um, female, if I remember right. The fairy type will be hurt by the Psychic. Rosie with Lucario. We're waiting for two more people, possibly. And then we'll throw our last wish star piece in here. Rosie is you. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So we're probably not going to get anybody else uh, on this. Um, but we are definitely getting the Pokemon we're hoping for, so I'm really happy with that. Really happy with that. We'll try one more after this. We might get lucky, and we might have a, a Giganamax Alcreme. The, the G-Max form for Alcreme is amazing. Amazing. If you've not seen it, you'll get a chance to see it on this stream. It won't be a raid, but I can guarantee you, you will see it as we, uh, as Digrek said it, quote unquote, set the fairy gem on fire on my way out the door. She did not care for the fairy gym that much. And uh, Turtle Club, a we, brief interruption there on the stream. Sorry about that. We wound up hitting the wrong button on our little stream deck. We got a mute button right beside the stream button. Um, hopefully that didn't disrupt anything too bad. We got a minute left to go. Uh, actually, 45 seconds, but who's counting? I always want to give when I'm when I'm searching for these things. I always want to be mostly fair. Someone else joins in, even in this case with a DB DB master coming in. Um, we are going to uh, give it some time just to make sure. When it's like 15 seconds left, we're going to fire it up anyways. Because if you stall out, the game's really not. Um, Friendly-ish with stuff. Butterfree and Lucario walk into a den. We're going to get some rental trainers. Hopefully they're not entire idiots. We're about to see this monster that DB Master is going to bring in. Go, Butterfree. 
inner focus. Not sure what inner focus does, but I do that max ooze will probably be our, our way to go. Though I'm expecting uh, Rosie to come in and and just wreck this thing with the first hit. Quite possibly. We'll see though. Flash cannon. Oh yeah, I'm not to write down the shields. You always have a shield encounter. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Max ooze. Max starfall. That must be a focus sash. Because otherwise that thing was going down. No, he just held on to hold on. Wow. Like, that's some Owen Wilson, wow, kind of stuff there, guys. Gyro Ball. Ooh, this is a good team. Taking out half the hit points to start off with. Really good there. All right, let's get this Dust Ball. Let's, let's go ahead and hopefully, hopefully everybody that wants to catch this thing in this, in this Raid can catch it. And one wiggle. And a wiggle. And a wiggle. And a click. Go out for his cut. Amnesia play rough. I'm with that. Uh, nickname? No. We will check the summary just to confirm. Yep, female. Oh, it's a neutral nature. We're fine with that. All right, and just because we're gonna throw in our last wishing piece. Wishing piece in the den. What do we get? It's a Kirlia. This could be male. Um, yeah. So we may not even have to use the, the daycare. 100% catch rate for the host for non G Max mons. You would think that, but you would be wrong. You would be wrong. Unfortunately, DB Master, <laughs> um, you're you're not a guaranteed catch. I I have had several that are non G Max run away. I've had several um, Munchlax always scampers off. At, out of the Munchlaxes I've been fighting, I've I've had like nine, and I've caught three, and that's using all various types of balls on them. Uh, they do have a the catch rate is different for Dynamax and Gigamax Pokemon compared to their real counterparts but uh, let's not get crazy right <laughs> it, it's 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 enough to be a different um, it's a but it's still very on par so like unevolved uh, like if this is a mime junior that was in here instead of a Gardevoir or Kirlia or Waltz, we would have a difficult time getting it. If it was a Togekiss or Togepi, it'd be really harder. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. I, I went digging into the details a while back. Uh, we're going to fire this off when there's like a minute left. So we can just kind of pull the ball a little further. And I'm hoping just for a, a Mel, uh, Curlia, but we'll uh, we'll dump it in the daycare otherwise. Yeah, obtain a Rhyperior with a Premier Ball, though. Yes, you can. I mean, there's nothing that prevents you from 
catching with a lower ball. Um, so in Alpha and Omega Ruby Sapphire, I caught Rayquaza with a premier ball. Now I had a stall Pokemon and I fought the thing for like 25, 30 rounds, but I did catch it. So, you know, it is, you're, you do have an opportunity always to catch. All right, sunlight turned harsh. It's fine. Dynamax energy, fight, Dynamax, Max use, it's a female, okay. That's fine. We can Dawnstone it pretty much right away. What is it learn hypnosis? At level nine, so that's great. We've already you can tell, guys, this thing is much, much weaker. Much, much weaker. We've already knocked it below half. We've already knocked its shield off. Its shield's smaller. We like to catch this one for Pokédex reasons. But we'll find out. Uh, poison Jab, yeah, one round of combat. One round of combat and it's time to catch now. But yeah, as the host, you do get an increased catch rate as well. So, I, I want to say using a Dusk Ball as the host has like a 5 catch rate. Um, a Gender Pokeball has like a 6 catch rate, which is crazy. If you got the right gender typing. Um, Master Ball, of course, is Master Ball. Which we have one of those on this game. Okay, well, thank you, DB. I appreciate that. Uh, that'll give us something to be ready to hatch as we head to the tangle. All right, and let's dodge these things here. Where is... there's the daycare down this way. But the... the just the methods you can get of getting all these Pokemon these days is just crazy. I like the raid system. It really makes the game very... more casual. Oh, I bet we don't have a Dawnstone. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't that be silly to do all that? It's an iron ball, yes. Keep it's a sticky bar. Absolutely, keep digging. There's a Dawnstone. Okay, we have a Dawnstone for certain now. Alright. <laughs> Metal coat, a float stone, an ice stone, a shiny stone, a float stone. Eight treasures. Not bad. Not bad. All right, so let's see here. Take my Pokemon back. Nope. We are going to leave a Pokemon with you. We're going to leave. Hmm. I like the idea of a possible neutral worst case scenario. Here you go. Usually about five laps that I've noticed. Gets us an egg. We want to add the egg to our party. 
And we'll replace friends with the egg. We gotta get our, there we go, there, oh, we already got an egg. We're gonna put it in the box. We're gonna get like six eggs out of this, guys. Hello, you're French. Uh, I am English. Hello. And that's United States English, not United Kingdom English. Uh, there is a difference. Um, but welcome. We are a family friendly Pokemon streamer at the moment, but we stream many other games. But right now, we are grabbing some Ralts eggs so we can get us a Glod. Which allows us to get a, a one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Odds are out of these six, we should get one now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and grab the Gardevoir, put her in the box, and we know you keep the Ditto. It is yours, lady. All right, so back to Stow on side. Call us a flying taxi. All right. Uh, DB Master, a question for you. I couldn't help but notice that you had a um, kanji named Pokemon before you can play Grand Theft Auto. Um, GTA does require some stuff. Uh, let's go and save. Yeah, it's it's a bit of a, a download. Let's get off the bike. This is a pretty cool zone, guys. So we are looking here at this interesting little mechanic where you can hit these mushrooms. And they go boing, as you may have just heard. And they make lights. And then, after all the light happens, you get potentially a attack by an Ipidim. In this case, this one will have an Ipidim in it, because you see him standing there. He's very angry at us for hitting his light. He's going to attack. These are funny. They are very dark. Boy, boy. We're gonna bug buzz and hope for the best. Probably kill it anyways. We'll use this Lucario for breeding with Masuda method. Oh, awesome, awesome. Yeah, that's that's what I was uh, curious about. I was like, uh, if you've got a uh, Katakanji Ditto or three. I wouldn't mind that. All right. Two full hills. Yeah, we'll take full hills. See if we might be able to find it. it's just a, a synesty. Oh yes, wild synesty. I bet I don't have a quick ball to save my scrubbiness at all. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Could be a whole lot of non catching here. Whole lot of non catching here. Oh, 
Oh, back to back protects? Triple? Oh. No, that wasn't triple, that was just back to back, okay. It's still back to back, that's that's pretty rough. Hey, got it down into the, the yellow. Aromatherapy, go to sleep, send a steam. Or just, just protect like that, okay. Yeah, gotta like the surprise trade. Um, that's that's rather nice. It's rather nice. Now this particular zone is considered to be in a cave, and dark, so dust balls do work really good here. Uh, Galar mine number one and two. If you're hunting certain Pokemon in there. Dust balls are great for that as well. And now we got a spot of sinister tea that we can put into our, our our box. Japanese ditto. Oh nice DB. Nice. In case you're wondering what um, DB Master and I are talking about here guys, the Masuda method is a way to get shiny Pokemon. I'm trying to save in the game by breeding them your odds increase if you have a apparent pairing of two different languages so Japanese French German um, Chinese uh, French or I said any any of those languages uh, if you have opposite languages or different languages or as long as they're not the same when you put them in the daycare together the chance of getting that Brad temper oh my gosh dude long time long time man welcome back welcome back hope all is going well for you a wild shenotic we already have one of these we actually use this as our grass go-to in our box we really would be using you can, oh dude, uh, DB, um, I, uh, are you sure? <laughs> because that's been kind of like one of those chase things that I've been able to find. I, I know on this game I have like hardly anything to offer. Usually sleep, eh, no worries there, Temper. No worries, Brad, man. We still haven't caught one of these. I'm gonna sleep powder it and then just try to dusk ball it and see what happens. I think the coolest thing I've got in this game right now is like a toxicity that I got from a raid. I may have a Gigamax something or other. I don't know if I got a Snorlax on this one or not. I'll have to check. Here's an Impidimp. Here's an Impidimp in the box. Here's an Impidimp. Uh, wrong button. Use the action button. Then that button. And then let's see here. You'll take any mons. I appreciate the sentiment. I really do. I I do think that you giving up something like that ditto is uh, worth something a little bit. So here, check the summary on this one. Nope. That might be it. Check summary. Nope. Here's a Gigas uh, Butterfree. Um.
Is this another Giga Butterfree? Let me check. What's your stats on this one? Oh, speed? Compound eyes? That's actually not a bad Butterfree. Uh, I'll, uh, yeah, if you're willing to take anyone, I, I feel comfortable giving you this level 35 of Butterfree with the speed stat being the way it is. So let me just do that real quick. Alright. Small interrupted. Uh, we are on internet. Searching for another trainer. Actually, hold up. Uh, yeah, but we want to cancel this request because we're going to no, we're going to be smarter and we're going to link trade we're going to cancel because we need to use a code set link code alright and we're just going to go 2580 like we do all the time guys 2580, alright searching for another trainer with 2580 Okay, so done that. Boom. Here's a chef. And the cool thing is we'll get a, a nice little additional lotto thing. Milsery. Go butterfree. Drench this thing in poison. Veno shot. Sinisty. Oh, really? I guess it's Dark Ghost, maybe, or something? Waste of Venishock, though. But... Alright, we can at least air slash it. Sucker Punch, boom. I can't remember if Sucker Punch causes flinching, possibly. I know it hits priority if they're using their stuff. Pure Ghost, okay. I didn't even see what they were putting out. <laughs> um, oh, Shenotic. Okay, we're gonna eat this thing. Super Slash. Bam. The bug eats the grass, and the grass falls down. I like the fact. Hey, Flapper! How's it going, man? Make some curry if you find me. Okay. Um, says Rosie's trading. Oh, new stamps. Search stamps. Friends only. No stamps are found. Well, we we saw. Huh. Uh, two five eight zero. Yeah, two five eight zero. Just from the two straight down. There we go. It's just lag on this system. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, so here's the really cool Dynamax Pokemon. And cancel the trade. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that's you. Um, someone just happened to be watching, possibly. And link trade. S set link code. Jump over to Twitch. 
Ah, uh, that's true. T Mac went to Twitch. Uh, would you like to trade using this trade code? Searching for another trainer. Let's see what happens this time. Someone was expecting someone that wasn't me in their trades. Bright powder. Jump. All we need for there. Searching. So I see. Once again, Rosie's there. Rosie found a partner. Because I see the handshake going on. Probably the same person that was trying to trade with me. I wonder if you can. Can you find out who the. Hmm. Pokemon. This is about to be a double battle. We're just going to swap out for Flygon Butterfree. This should be pretty rough for these guys. Maybe try another code. Yeah, after this fight, absolutely going to be trying another code. I'll try 0852. Just go the opposite direction. Ninetales and Curlia. Butterfree and Flygon. Alright. Trace. Compound dies. Ooh, that's a nice trace. Uh, we're going to super finish shock the Curlia, and then we're going to just earthquake everything around us. Boom. Probably take everybody out first. Yeah, there we go. Mons get some experience. Butterfree the 50. Awesome. Alright, so let's just cancel this trade. Cancel the trade request. And set link code. Snore. Such a great move. When they first, I remember when they first came up with Snore, I was completely incensed. I was like, oh my god, rest Pokemon sets are so brutal to begin with, and now you're going to give them the ability to fight while they're like halfway unconscious? How fair is that? And then, lo and behold, it was perfectly fine. Because, as it was, it was like, ugh. Madam Judy. And Dee Dee. And Butterfree, come on out. Uh, we're going to bug buzz this thing away. For Rabu, and we're not going to switch our Pokemon. And Dee Dee comes out, and Bug Buzz it. So we're going to try to avoid fights for a little bit. Should be able to kind of go around. Oh, get away from the grass. Get away from the grass. i got to admit, I just kind of like hitting the mushrooms. Because they're just fun. So that's the end of the path. So we're almost there. So now that we now that we're there. We 
they do have to go through here, which is a, a forced fight. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. We have a Ralts, possibly. Come on. To the episode nine box you go, and egg comes out. We're gonna move you to episode nine. And look at this fight, guys! You can't see the Morgan right there, but there's a Morgan right there, just ready to ambush. A wild Morgan. Waiting our directions. Let's go and sleep powder this thing. Get to a dusk ball it. This should pretty much catch it, but not hundred percent confident. Aha, there we go. Turn such a good move too. Load stamps, search stamps, search friends. Hey, trade partner's been found. We'll see if this is... Okay. I should reset. As in reset connection. Because that happens a lot. trade, set link code, there we go, set link code, switching for trainer, and then search stamps, friends only, no stamps found, load new stamps, search stamps, friends only, there we go, alright, so we're in the same ballpark now. I uh, see yours. Trade partner's been found. Time for a trade. Butterfree. And Haunter. Butterfree. And they cancel the trade. All right, so new trade code. Yep, start set link code. All right, we're gonna try one three nine seven. Thirteen ninety seven. How many different people could be using? Uh, would you like to trade? Yeah, thirteen ninety seven. We're we're uh, Nintendo. We really wish. We really, really wish. Mm. 
mid Charizard pose. I'm confident that this is probably who we want. That's a rookie D. Not you either. Right, let me trade. Start trading. No, 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 no. We didn't mean to do that. Link trade. Cancel. This is. Um, set link code. 1548. I mean, technically, there's 10,000 possibilities, right? 10,000 possibilities from quad zero to quad nine and somehow somehow we have managed to I mean I understand the 2580 and the 0852 being kind of like easy right but the one three nine seven, that was that was kind of like what? So we see Rosie in our thing, and one five four eight. I mean it's staggered. I'm hoping this is DB Master. The really thing is at least you get the option to. Okay, this is a this is a ditto, and it's got. Kanji on it. I'm hoping this is DB Master. I really do. Because otherwise. Got you. Okay. Alright, so first, second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth, or twelfth times the charm? I have to go back and count this in the, in the stream because my, my goodness. Alright. Goodbye, Butterfree. Hello, ditto. Hello, path to shinyhood. All right. Thank you for the the ditto. Really appreciate that. That's gonna let us get some really cool Pokemon later, guys. Turtle Club hashtag for just DB Master on that. I really appreciate that. That is that's gonna be a big thing for us. And you can tell I'm sort of like halfway, ow, ow. Wish there was an easier way. You know, I, I wish you could just say trade with friends. I mean, there's a, a with friends option for like, what, five other Pokemon games, right? Oh! Hello! Which Pokey's got Pokey Riss? Who caught it? Where do I check Pokeyrus? I figured it would be just on the screen. Or was it the... Oh, Ditto. Is it the Ditto that's got it? It does. Oh, wow. Okay. So... Wow. That's even better. So, Pokerus is a weird little disease. Um, it, it does a lot. And one of the things that Pokerus does, let's, uh, let's just pull this up. Because it's been a long time since I, and it's, 
All right. Um, all right. Do the beneficial nature. Do, 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 okay. Right. 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 I'm, I'm rereading it up. Alright, so okay. Okay, and did they have the virus previously? Right, right. So you gain twice the effort values now while you're using the, the Pokemon and Okay. Eggs can catch Pokey virus. That's good. It's a three in sixty five thousand five hundred and thirty six chance in every battle. Uh, it's rarer than encountering a shiny Pokemon. And I want to say it has something to do with actually. Helping the odds of a, of a shiny hatching, too. Yeah, it, it definitely, it's a certain number of days before it cures itself if it's in your party, though. But we're not going to be putting this ditto in the party. So, wow. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. All right. Okay, so... We we filled up our, our Pokemon, we we got our our fairy gem stomper here. We got an egg that we'd like to hatch into. A Ralts. Um, hold up, stop. Wait a minute. Talk to the people. It's hard to describe. Mushrooms, pranks, fairy type Pokemon doing things. Yeah, that's going to be super helpful for training up our Pokemon. Frank, that's my grandpa's name. This guy. What Pokemon? Have a battle with me. This person identifies as a Pokemon, guys. Uh, well, good luck with that. Change your fashion style could change the way I feel, too. Uh, okay, so put some clothes with fiery spirit that embodies burning feelings. Alright, so that's going to be a real quick stop. Um, since we got like six minutes, and we don't want to stop in the middle of the, the gym battle, if, if we can avoid it for our timer and all that, we're going to fly really quick to Hammerlock. We're going to go to the fashion store. And we're gonna try to make this guy's dream a reality. Hola! Uh, me llamo Mag Synchro Habla Inglés. Alright, so let's see if we can find. So, not here yet. Nope. They want fire type stuff. Hmm. So, put it on. And. You speak English, just say hi in Spanish. Alright. No worries, man. I, I, I know uh, bonjour, uh, parlez-vous anglais, uh, guten tag, uh, um, ich kann deutsche bitten. Um, I, I try to say hi, uh, it's spoken in English, you know, can you speak English in a lot of languages because I know, even though I don't know a lot of languages, I need to at least try to know 
enough to say, hey, I'm, I'm sorry I don't speak your language on some level. I appreciate you stopping in. Uh, my name is Max Sinker with Convertible Turtle Gaming, and we are... Uh, no, we don't want to buy the hat. Uh, let's, he, wants, he wants us to be all decked out in fire clothing, so we're going to put all the fire clothes on. Spanish is very limited. Nothing wrong with having a limited vocabulary in another language, though. If you if you have a limited vocabulary in another language and the limit's not zero, you are already ahead of the curve in many different ways. Many different ways. So next we're gonna go to Moda Stoke. This guy wants the fire. We are the score bunny trainer. We ought to bring the fire. You don't know much Spanish. Oh, huh. 90, okay, well no worries there either. A lot of people happen to pick up different vernaculars where they're at as well. And just kind of run with that. I've, uh, there's a, a co-worker I work with and she always comes up and says, Hola, que pasa? She grew up in Miami and she doesn't know very much Spanish. But she knows the, you know, basically what people would say uh, to say hello in that area. And that's, alright, so we're still, we're still decking herself out. Wait, our shoes are like blue on the bottom? That's not really good. All right, so let's let's uh, let's go to the shoes. Is there any shoes here? This kind of match the track pants. All right. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, yes, we are. We are done shopping, but we need to put on the other. We need to put the other ones on. All right. Uh, challenger top. Oh, here we go. Sport top. Fire type. That works. Um, socks. We're gonna have fire type socks. Oh. Okay. Well. And fire type glove. All right, I don't think this guy can. I don't think that this guy that we're about to go back to can say that we're not sporting enough fire attire. So let's fly back. All the way back to Bologna. And Turtle Club, we have less than three minutes before the buffet timer is going to go off and things are about to go crazy. We're about to do all sorts of math. Come on. Acrobatics is move that does more damage if the user isn't holding an item. Acrobatics. It says it inflicts massive damage. You must have the hat. Um, you don't have to wear it if your hairstyle doesn't permit it. Yeah, yeah, I, that was one I tested on my other game. Because I was like, wait a second, let me save, do stuff. And now we're about to get creepy story time. Opal's been the gym leader for a long time. It's also a small theater. And here we go. Are you looking for Frank? Well, that's me. Now, if you remember, guys, in Hammerlock, we got a letter from a little girl. What's this? You've got a letter addressed to me. You handed the old letter to the old man. You typed that wrong. Hut. Uh, Butet. <laughs> All right. And who could be sending me a letter? Oh, it says it's from Paula. Man, that takes me back. She got it sick. Didn't tell anybody. Ended up having a great row about it. Moved away not long after the fight. Never met her again after the day I left. How is she? Did she look well? Dear old Paula. Um, 
She looked well. She looked really good for a, a ghost. All right, and choice scarf. Scarf in the other part of it. Uh, speed boots only allows the use of one move though. And turtle club, that is 10, 9, 8, 7, all sorts of things. Boom, bam, all right. So let's take a look here. We are right at time, guys. We have eight likes on the video, which is awesome. We have four watching, so eight and four combined is going to go ahead in uh, five watching, actually. Six watching, actually. Um, we just saw that number jump. So all you guys getting in right at the end of the buffet, thanks for coming in. Eight and six is going to be 14. So we're going to get 14 extra minutes there. And then we're going to round up for our sponsors. Uh, first one is T-Mac Music, rounds up to the nearest 10. So we're going to go to 20 extra minutes. Shadow being in the chat as well. We're going to put that up to an extra 25 minutes. And then we have a, a new subscriber according to one of my little tools I have. It's going to be an extra minute there. So it's going to put us up to 26 minutes. And then we have a bonus minute for technical difficulties that we said we're going to add after the timer. So right there, guys, we're going to go all the way to an extra... 27 minutes and since we ended the stream on the timer at the um, 905 mark 905 plus 27 so we're going to be ending the stream at 932 today and that is awesome awesome so we have pretty much what we're going to be doing is this gym and then we're going to have quite a little bit of time to fight in the wild zone and to basically grind some candy out and be ready for the next gem. But first we're going to poke our head in a few more places where it probably shouldn't be. Hello old lady, how are you? Oh, here's the TM Hex. Alrighty. You want to know how to make your Pokemon strong without it evolving? Yes, we do. We absolutely do because this is where we get the Eviolite from. And all of a sudden our Mag Synchro character running around is Swag Synchro. Hey, cool Chris. How's it going, man? It has been a while. I saw you pop back into the, the Discord. Welcome back. Uh, Dotler just went out with a hit. Alright, Gyarados level 48. Wants to move Thrash. Forget an old move. Yeah, Thrash is a great move. Um, since we do have a Ralts that we'll be hatching eventually, that should be male. We'll go ahead and get rid of Whirlpool. We won't need it. Oh, we we completely cracked that Dotler open. Here's the Evil Light. This is a awesome item. It uh, it's it's been good. It's been good. Life is you know life has had its ups and downs, but. At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, we are definitely on the positive side of the, the ledger. So we feel really good about that in general. Alright, here we go. We've got some rest TM. We've got the snore TM. So now we can do like a rest move set with snore. Or if we got like recycle, we can do a rest with recycle and a berry. Alright, so I don't know why you would want to jump down there. Realistically, but oh well. The Chin Chow's floating around, the ink case floating around. It would have been really nice to be able to fish right here. Like a water fairy type would be amazing to get. Alright, so we're gonna save. 
because we're about to go into this gym, and I'm I'm confident we're not gonna have any problems in here. At like at all, but you never know. Last time you've been on Discord, it's been over a year. Oh wow, yeah, it's uh. It's been a long time, but we've had like schedule changes and life changes and all sorts of things. Even Pico is wary of you. Uh, yeah? Okay, okay. 11% downloaded. That's not too bad. It took me a while to download a game the other day. Take one of the lead cards. Okay, we'll take one of your lead cards. Got Marnie's lead card. Alright. It goes in our lead card album. We're gonna meet in the final, she says. We'll see. We'll see. Here's another one of the trade Pokemon. They want a Yamask. You don't have the Pokemon needed for trade. Sad. Okay. Quizzes. Fortunately, no quiz is difficult if you know all the answers. I've been through this fight. And we know all the answers. Ball guy! There we go. Love ball. It's got a really good catch rate against the opposite gender. What is it about pink? Does it mean fairy type? No. Pink means something different. All right, yes, we are ready. We are ready. We are ready. About to have a serious examination. Serious examination is a lot like a prestigious award. You just kind of go with it. And I do like the fairy symbol that they have for the fairy type. It's kind of cool, in my opinion. The cotton candy motif's a little long, mm, but you know what it is. The only mons which are water fairy are, are unobtainable right now. Isn't that a Meryl? Right? But since I'm on the voice lounge and quiet. Wait, what? I'm, uh. I didn't quite catch uh, track with that. Oh, we do have other people that have popped into Discord too. Interesting. Show what you do. All right, we're gonna go chat lounge. Um, I'm, I'm guessing you're talking somewhere else. We are. We have a couple voice chats in our Discord, but we. They don't get used a whole lot at all. All right, we're good to go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Here we go. Marilyn, uh, Primarina, and Tapu Fini. Okay, so Primarina. I don't think we're gonna get Primarina in here. I really don't. Um, I don't think they, I don't think it actually wound up being even Yeah, the Meryl line's not even in the game. Like, they've not even found it through data mining. So I don't think we get water... I don't think we get water fairy at all in this game. And that's not to say we won't get to play with it in the... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Primarina... Says we can get it through Pokemon Home. How's the stream going? Pretty good. Cool, Chris. It's been going pretty good, man. We've uh, we've actually this is the second gym that we're taking on today, so it's actually really good for us. We've, we've been hitting about a gym every other stream, and the fact that we hit two back to back in within an hour. Fairy types weaknesses, yes. Either one of these is the exact same poison type and steel type. It doesn't matter. Those are both the weakness. It's a fairy trick. Fairy trick, guys. Fairies are tricky. You get a buff just for answering the question. And... We'll finish out this too. Alright, 
And this is kind of one of the more interesting-ish kind of gems. Oh, interesting. Nice to know. Yeah, there's there's some moves that have been actually taken out of the game. And there's a whole lot of Pokeballs that have been taken out of the game too, which kind of make me a little irritated. But... It is what it is. Venoshock. Might get to play Pokemon Fire again. Oh, that's cool. Pokemon Fire Red was a good game. I, uh... I personally found it great as a kind of reboot. Also stuck on it too? Stuck. Question. What was the previous name's name? It was a net. They tried to catch me in one. Speed Rose. Waiting your directions. We're going to Venoshock this too. Ooh. Psychic. I'm bug type. I'm gonna shrug that off. I'm catching up to you. Hey, Lucario Hunter! I'm, uh, we're, we're starting to get there. Couldn't go to the lower parts of the map. Huh. Well, there's the, there's the islands that you have to, like, you can't get down to the islands in Fire Red until after you beat the game. And did a little bit of side plot. And then there's the Snorlax obstruction. And your Pokemon are way higher than me. Oh. Uh, that's because I've been doing the the Wild Zone, Lucario. I think this is the same trainer over and over again, just using a different name. She's an actress. So she's able to play all the roles. Morgrim. He's dark and fairy type. Which means we're gonna once again Venom shock it. Oh that hurts. Why do I eat for breakfast every morning? Well, omelets. You eat omelets for breakfast, you eat curry for lunch. Curry's delicious stuff. Digrat made some really awesome Japanese style curry for me the other day, guys. Some nice, like, uh, solid pork with some potatoes and some onions and fried rice as, like, the, as the, the starch to pour it all over. Oh, my gosh. Some carrots. Really, really high caloric value. And really tasty. Very tasty. Gardevoir. So we're going to be a little cheeky and possibly pay for this. But we're going to try Pangoro out for a second. Yeah, it was really delicious. Gotta go. Keep up the good work. Oh, well, thanks, Lucario. Sorry you gotta go, man. But thanks for popping in. Really appreciate it. God of our fainted. All right. I play a strong trainer. I'm a method actor, so I became a trainer in real life too. This Opal insisted on making this an audition. <laughs> Till next time, absolutely. And here we go. We're walking through. We are walking. Yes, sir, we, we're walking. There's Opal, you see. We're talking. You there. Man with the really weird mustache. Yes, let's go challenge it. Bam.
I halfway expected a Gene Wilder, Willy Wonka moment when this happened. I was expecting like the cane, the fall down, the flip, the the Yoda from the the second Star Wars movie, Episode Two. I refer to by that, and and I didn't get it, which is kind of disappointing. Challenged by Jim Leader Opal. Like the little animation. Like tap, 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 tap. She sends out the wheezing. So we're going to air slash this because I'm pretty sure it's poison type. Like poison fairy. So, oh, there's the flinch. Do you know your nickname? You are the wizard. And air slash again. All right, poison's very awesome, cool, Chris. Thank you for that. Level up, Butterfree to fifty-one. Pangora to forty-seven. Toga Kiss. We're not going to switch Pokemon out. We're going to keep it a flying fairy type. I'm going to go ahead and Venom Shock this. It's not going to take it out, but it's going to hurt it pretty good. Ancient Power, which is a rock move, which is going to hurt us in a pretty good spot. But I think we're going to be alright for the rest of it. Then a shock. Bam. Ooh. It hung on. This is not good. Oh, this is not good. We're going to go with Flagon. What's the favorite color? Purple. I moved up to Northern Georgia now. Still moving in the process. Oh, okay. Northern Georgia. So... Like, further north than the Atlanta area? No, we're not going to map. Ah, Dragon Claw this thing. Oh, it's very tight. Oh, we... We, we chose poorly. We chose so poorly. Oh my gosh. This is not the Pokemon that we were seeking. Oh, um, Super Power is going to be our best bet. Because we can't hit it with anything else. Cartersville, alright. Okay, yeah, that is uh, a little bit higher up there. Oh, wow. CDs around 700, DVDs are... I do not know T-Mac. Um, CD number's right, but the other one I don't know. We're, we're going down. We are so going down. Oh, wow. Okay, we, we have to switch out. Cinderace? Cinderace is fighting in fire. Uh, going to make some recovery discs. Okay. I think Gyarados might be okay, though. Because he's not in Dragon type. How old am I? 16 years old. That was a question I've not seen. Pure fire. 
Right, but the move set was what I was basically mentioning, DB Master. I got fire and fighting moves. Um, let's try for Hydro Pump. Should do a healthy amount of damage. Alright. What really hurt was the Butterfree not cleaning up the Toga Kiss. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Wants to learn uproar? No, we don't like uproar. Mawile. Now we'll switch back to the Flygon. I think, right? Oh, that's cool. I'm trying to remember. Because steel is always one of those that like messes with my head still. Where are you, Mawile? In this list. Alright, so damage taken two times for ground? Yeah. Okay. Now we should be back on track. Should be back on track. Earthquake this thing away. Alright, and here comes the coolest Pokemon in a second. Now, Creme. I don't think we have a single steel type move or poison move around these guys. Though I gotta say, we're probably best off with Gyarados or what's about to happen. Alright. He's finally kicking in. Not a moment too soon. Here comes an Alcreme. It's the standard berry Alcreme. Not going to attack down. We're going to Dynamax. And we're going to Dynamax a max strike with a base power of 140. Think we're going to be okay, guys. Boy, howdy, did I make a mistake putting out that flag on against that Toga Kiss. That was that was a rookie and a half move. Gonna have some fun with this. This is hilarious. Watch. Opal. Boof. It's way too heavy. Has to do the granny throw. Look at the awesomeness that is Alcreme. Who wants cake? <laughs> oh, everybody likes cake, right? G Max Finale. Amazing looking move. And it's a health drain move. Kind of important. You don't have to leave for a bit. Alright. No worries, Lucario Hunter. We're doing, we're doing uh, pretty good for stream time still. We're almost, almost at the 9.32 mark. We'll have this gym taken care of in about the next couple of minutes. And the stream will be over at that point. Oh, man. Hanging on. Hanging on. Do we go for the cheekiness? I mean... We can't. We're going to do our stream, though. 
because their stream just looks cool. And it's a flying stab bonus. We should have been using it probably most of the whole entire time. Awesome. Look at that. About a thousand experience points for everything that that Elkrim had to offer. Gym Leader Opal defeated. That part there. They're just ah, throwing the cane away and everything else. Finally a little bit of a uh, spring to the step. Oh, thanks for the GG team. That was that was a pretty bad fight for us. I got an idea where to look. Too bad about the audition. But here's a fairy badge for your efforts. And pretty classy. First gym leader that's given us the badge. Which we always expect. Basically where you are, but you gotta say this game is awesome. Oh yeah, absolutely awesome. We can catch up to level 45 now. And then, this one gives us the TM. And then a fairy uniform. So, like... Of course it's not good to neglect your elders, but old folk like me should know when it's time to step out of the spotlight. TM, next gym waits for you in Sir Chester. Alright, and bam, bam, bam. And we're going to call it in a few seconds, guys. We have some plot we have to step in, so we're going to get some overtime. Hold on now, says Opal. I got a few errands to run in Hammerlock. Care to join me for the journey? Yeah, with pleasure. We'll, we'll uh, we'll go with, we'll go with Opal to Hammerlock. And this is because we were about to get like locked into place in our stream. This is so we have to let the, we have to let the plot happen. And we got one more piece of plot to step in before we call it quits for the day, guys. Have a great day. You too, Lucario Hunter. Thank you for for being in the in here with us. Thank you, Shadow and T Mac, our sponsors for being here today. T Mac, thank you for that donation earlier through that super chat. Really appreciate that. DB Master for that awesome ditto trade. We're going to put that ditto to lots of work. Um, can I afford to waste something like this? Not really. We had a couple people pop in just for trades. Uh, Game Master GG uh, popped in, popped out. Uh, Brad Temper coming back. Man, cool Chris and Brad Temper. And then, of course, we had the Flapper pop it in. Feel the Earn, guys. He's a fellow streamer. Really recommend watching his stuff. He does a lot of really, really awesome games. Lando Max popped in and uh, had some really good language conversation with them. Ocario Hunter. It's been just a real great. Been able to watch because of work. Happy out. Still in school. I uh, totally understand the way it all goes, guys. That's what I call pink, so sincere and straightforward, yet so twisted and misguided. And here comes one of the funniest scenes. Digrat was laughing so hard when this happened, guys. Try to make the streams. We have girlfriend to take care. Hey, girlfriends come first, man. Boom. Pink. 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 Congratulations, child. It's like Darth Sidious finding Darth Vader. Miss Opal, what in the world has gotten into you? You were used by Alenia, am I right? You were tired to gather wishing stars for her, only to have her throw away you like rubbish. Oh, come with me, child. Boom, that's true, man. Oh, yeah. Very well, I accept the plan. In fact, I plan on making sure you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about the wishing stars. 
You should head to Surchester. I take it you know how to get to Route 7. No, we don't, but we'll figure that out tomorrow morning, guys, on some more Home for the Galar days. We are... We are done for the day. We're going to go ahead and save it. We didn't get a whole lot of Pokemon progress, but boy howdy, Turtle Club, did we get a whole lot of everything else. I'm going to have a good night. You all out there have a good morning, good breakfast, good lunch, good dinner, Turtle Club, whatever you're about to do. Have a good one, and thanks for watching. Take care.